Aries, this is your bonus May reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Uh, okay, cards are flipping out of the deck for you. Um, so let's see what the universe has to say here. Let's see what's going on with you and your person. What messages do you need to know? Spirit, what messages? When I was pre-shuffling for you guys, Aries, I felt some um, manipulative energy coming from your person. And I'm going to tell you exactly how I felt that. I had to, um, I was like, first I was going to write it down, but I was like, no, I can remember it because it was so strong. All right. So first of all, before I tell you, we have the queen of swords, the 10 of wands, we have the eight of cups and the nine of swords. So you either walked away from someone or you're thinking about walking away from this person because you're tired of them being distant and cold. I was picking up the strong energy when I was pre-shuffling for you guys that somebody that you deal with smoke, okay? So it's like they may smoke weed, they may smoke hookah, whatever it is. They smoke, they get high, they start thinking about you, then they text you with the bullshit. So you and this person starts conversating, right? And you're going back and forth about what they did. They're going back and forth about what you did or whatever. And then they stop texting. And so it's like this conversation is going and you're like, okay, so maybe we're getting somewhere now. This person is reaching out to me. Maybe we can talk about these things. We can deal with whatever's going on here and move past it. But no, they still hold back. So you're dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable, but they still want you. They still want to make sure you're there and that you're available. And I feel like this is the energy that's getting on your nerves big time. Because we have the nine of swords here. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, where you're always in your head about this person. We also have water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the eight of cups and fire. Okay. Um, some of you could be dealing with a um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But just with these three cards alone, someone is stressing you the hell out and you're like you know what i'm so tired of this it's like the connection doesn't seem like it's something beautiful and passionate that you want right about now it just seems like a burden it seems very heavy energy that like it makes you sad when you think about it um you don't get to see this person that much or you don't get to talk to them that much and then when you do it's like you guys argue okay so um i know this is not going to be everyone's story i don't know who this is for but some of you are dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and you're thinking about cutting this person off. But I feel like every time you think about cutting them off, they call you or they text you and they, they act like they want to fix things. And then they go right back into the energy of being emotionally unavailable. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? What do they need to know? Yeah, the chariot. Some of you can be dealing with the cancer. We have the nine of wands here. We also have the star card. So you're staying hopeful, okay, when it comes to this situation. Um, you're trying to keep the faith here, but you're also guarded with the nine of wands energy. It's like you want things to move forward, but you're just not sure how to get this to go in the right direction. So maybe you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Spirit, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for Aries? For this bonus reading what do they need to know about their person and their situation page of pentacles so there is an offer coming in from this person but they're still guarded seven of wands i feel like this person loves you could be a leo that you're dealing with okay um or a younger earth sign virgo Taurus, capricorn i do feel like this person loves you right but I'm also picking up the energy that they're just not ready to offer you this commitment, but they want to make sure you're still going to be available for them. So they're going to check in every so often to make sure you're still there, Aries. But I feel like you're wise now to this person's um, manipulation and their bullshit because I feel like you're dealing with someone who's just manipulative as hell. It's like they know how open your heart is for them. And so they prey on that. Um, even though I feel like this person does have a lot of love for you, but it's just that they're just not ready to settle down, but they're going to hang on to you with the four of pentacles. This person also may be going through some financial issues, but they hide it from you with the six of wands energy. Okay. This is someone who, um, is, it's like their ego is overly inflated. Is, did I say that right? Yeah, I think I said that right. It's like they have a huge ego here. Very huge. But they're struggling in some sort of way. But they don't want you to know about it. 
could be another fire sign um, that you're dealing with. And it's either an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius here. Possibly a Leo for some of you. I don't know why I keep picking up energy on the sun, um, the sun card here. Okay. Some of you may have children by this person. You could have twins or you could have like a boy and a girl. Toddlers. We have the page of cups here. Yeah, this person's coming in with the love offer. But the only thing about this offer that they're bringing you, Aries, is I just don't feel like it's going to be consistent. I don't feel like it's going to be consistent. And I feel like that's what you're worried about. When it comes to this nine of swords, you're like, okay, I know this person is going to stick around. I know they're not going anywhere, but how do, how long do I have to deal with their inconsistent energy? Spare what messages? We have the five of swords, the nine of cups. In the death card, I feel like this person is being very petty right now. They're holding back because they know that there's a change that you seek out of them. You do make this person happy for the most part because the nine of cups is here and they don't want to give you up, but they also don't want to change. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio with the death card. I just like this person's main objective is to win, is to be in charge because they feel like when they're not in charge that you have all the power in this connection. And I feel like they don't like when that happens because it makes them feel vulnerable. Yeah, six of swords. Four swords. Some of you, you may have to travel to see this person. They may live at a distance. I also feel like they're healing from something that they're not talking to you about. They feel like you wouldn't understand because you're the nine of pentacles. So you're not struggling like they are. This person could be struggling with their finances and they feel like you have it all. I do pick up some jealous energy around you and your person, but they don't want to be this way with you. It's just naturally how they are when they don't feel like things are going right in their life. They don't want to celebrate anything in anyone else's. OK, so you could have a business, um, you could be going to school, you could have a really good job, more than one job, whatever. You're making ends meet like hell. They see it. They see you doing it with ease. Right. With this nine of pentacles, you don't ask anyone for anything. You're self-sufficient. Well, they want to be that way, too. But I feel like their life is not like that. So this person may be holding back and not coming towards you because they may feel like they don't have they don't have anything to offer to your life right now, Aries. And you're like, just love me. Just be loyal. Like, just be consistent with your with your shit. Like, stop running away from, from the connection. I feel like some of you are married to this person. And you're trying to figure out... I'm sorry, you guys. Um, A card dropped on the floor. Give me one second. Um, Okay. It's the king of pentacles. So some of you guys could be dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like some of you guys are married to this person. And you're asking yourself, like... Is this marriage going to last or are we going to get a divorce? I was picking up that energy strongly. I didn't see the four of wands reversed or anything yet. Or, um, but the four of wands reversed or the, the higher event reversed. I didn't see that, but I just was picking up the energy. Um, yeah, the will of fortune with the king of swords close enough. It's like, you're like, something is not moving forward. You're like, I don't know how, which way this wheel is going to turn. Like some of you are dealing with an air sign. We also have a divine counterpart because we had the queen of swords here. Okay. So we have the queen of swords and the king of swords. So I feel like for some of you, you're holding back. Your person's holding back. The wheel of fortune is in reverse. Something's not moving forward. I feel like you guys are destined to be together because we have a divine counterpart here. But it's like, you're going to have to drop your swords. <laughs> it's like, I know you're like, hell no. Mm -mm. He's going to have to drop his first. Or he may be like, she's going to have to drop hers first. But I feel like in order to make this situation work out, you guys are going to have to compromise. And I don't feel like there's a lot of that going on right now. Because look at her face. Look at his face. It's like both of you guys feel you have reasons to be angry right now with each other. And it's like you want this person to see your way and why you're angry and fix it. And it's like they want you to see their way and why they're angry and, and to fix it. And it's like the only way that you can do this is to um, compromise with each other. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Let's get one more. Then we're going to get some message cards. 
Okay, what messages do you have for Aries and their situation and their person? Uh -huh. Messages coming in. So you're going to get a message from this person if you haven't already with this page of wands energy. Okay, possibly younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be. This person's, I feel like they're going to start um, possibly like maybe one message just to see what you're doing, what you're feeling and what you're thinking. If you're open to talking to them. And then I feel like things are going to, like the floodgates are going to open up and you guys are going to have a, a conversation about what it is that you need to do to fix the situation. And I feel like for some of you, Aries, you're going to let this person know, like, if you don't plan on being consistent, then there's nothing to talk about here. Because I feel like that's the main problem between you and your person. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's get some message cards. What messages do you have for Aries? What do they need to know about their person? Let's ask Spirit that. Spirit, what does Aries need to know? Out in the cold. Feeling rejected, isolation, loneliness, scarcity, and mindset. This person may feel like you're leaving them out in the cold. And I feel like you're going to be like, they got a nerve. <laughs> like, yes, I'm leaving you out in the cold. But you know why I'm leaving your ass out in the cold. Okay. So let's not play games. All right, so we have revenge body, looking your best, focusing on yourself, punishing the ex. So I feel like some of you are in the gym. You may be on a diet, losing weight. Maybe you've adopted a weight loss regimen where you're walking, you're, you're eating better, you're drinking more water. Something's going on here where you're like, wait till you see what I look like. And then you won't want me. And then I'm not going to want you. <laughs> and then we have foolish, foolish choices carelessness not serious playing games and tricks so i feel like the person that you're dealing with you just feel like they're playing games and they're just not serious about the connection and i feel like some of you are like i've been down this road before i know what it looks like and i i don't want to do this so you may be holding back for those reasons spirit what messages do you have oh we have a new cycle here that wanted to pop out we have new beginnings, the end of a cycle, making a fresh new start. Yeah, because I saw that page of wine. So I know that this person is coming in to talk to you and possibly try to fix something or get on your good side. Yeah, you guys are going to heal something. Whatever it is that you're going through, you're going to heal. We have reevaluating needs, self-care, self-love, moving forward. Some of you are also deciding to heal without this person because you're tired of this person breaking your heart. But that's not going to stop them from coming in messaging you, Aries. Now, you know, of course, you don't have to respond to them. But I feel like you still hold a space in your heart for this person. So you will respond. I feel like for the most part, you're going to respond to this person. But it's like if they're not talking about what you want to hear, I just feel like you're going to shoot them down. You're going to cut it short or you're not going to be nice to this person at all. Yeah, we have sex. This person may come in talking about some, can I come over? Can I come see you? We have bond filled with lust, acting on sexual desires, love or lust. Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh, you're going to open this person's heart space. Awakening, heart space opening, twin flame ascension. This person can't let you go. You have awakened their heart space, okay? For real. This is why this person is going to be reaching out to you. Okay, so this card wanted to slide out the deck. We have apology, confession, mending relationship, rebuilding. All right, so we're going to get some love oracle cards and we're going to see what this person wants to say to you or maybe thinking and not saying to you spirit what does aries person want to say to them what do they want them to know that they're not saying what is aries person thinking and holding back on but not saying how about i ask the question that way what is Aries person thinking but not saying? Spirit, what is Aries person thinking about the connection but not saying? I'm sorry for everything I did and said. I don't like arguing with you. It makes me feel depressed when we are not on good terms. He or she went through my phone and found messages from you. That's why I haven't called you, but I still love you unconditionally. They ghosted you, but it's not for reasons you think. You will get clarity soon. Be patient. 
I constantly look at your pics on social media when we're not speaking. It brings me comfort to see your face. And let's get one more. Ooh, okay. <laughs> they don't let me put them in different positions like you do. The sex with them is boring. That's why I always want to make love to you. So there you have it, Aries. That is your bonus reading for May. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.